Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on rounding a number to a given number of decimal places. And we've got these three example questions which we're going to solve. Now if we want to round 3.746 to one decimal place, that means we want to keep one digit after the decimal point. And remember that this here, this dot, is the decimal point. So if you want to keep one digit after the decimal point, let's just underline that. And what we do is we always check the digit after the one we've underlined. Now, is this digit five or more? If yes, that's going to round up and become an eight. But if this is not five or more, then that stays as seven. So the answer is 3.7. It rounds down rather than up because of that four. And note that we indeed have one digit left after the decimal point, so we've rounded it to one decimal place. What about this second one? We want to round 13.68741 to two decimal places. Because it's two decimal places, we want to keep two digits after the decimal point. So we underline those, and as I said before, we look at the digit just after those we've underlined. Now, is that digit five or more? Yes, it is, and therefore that's going to go up by one. So we get 13.69. And finally, this one down here, we've got 14.8974, and we want to round to two decimal places. Well, it's two decimal places, so I underline two digits after the decimal point, and we check the next digit. Is that five or more? Yes, it is. Now that goes up by one, but uh-oh, we can't go up by one without having some kind of carry. And that indeed is what happens. So that 89 goes up by one to 90, and we put 14.90. Now you might wonder whether we need that zero or not, because 14.9 is the same as 14.90, isn't it? However, because we said we want it to two decimal places, we do have to give two digits after the decimal point, and that's indeed what we have done.